You know that classic, classic FM thing when everything's going fine, you're strolling to victory, and then your keeper decides to do, well, this. What the fudge? Just digging. He must have been confused with all the German speaking or something. He just... What? Oh well. friends welcome back are you crazy here and uh besides that silly 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 goal which en ended up in a 2-2 versus well red bull salzburg everything is going splendid splendid indeed we're playing some lovely lovely football uh two three nails in the champions league and then the league is just strolling i mean it's actually four three nails in a row pretty intense but we are playing some lovely lovely football which is why I decided to make an episode today where we play Real San Sebastian, or Sociedad as we call them. And then, I guess a bit of a revenge thing versus Salzburg. I don't know if uh, Testegen is going to do silly things again, but hopefully not. Other than that, not much has actually happened. Uh, there's a lot of interest apparently in Frankie de Jong from United. Um, but, I mean, they haven't actually bid, they just keep saying they're interested, and I keep saying you're not having him, so there's that. Uh, but as you can see, the squad is also kind of back to full fitness almost. Um, it's actually very recent, like a few days ago, that actually the players started coming back because uh, like uh, we were pretty darn knackered in the beginning. So we've uh, done a lot of rotation and haven't really been strongest, I guess. But we are now back to strongest 11. And I say that we're actually doing a bit of rotation to this match. We're playing, as you say it, Mr. Mr. Why do I keep saying Mr. about teams? bit silly but we're playing Sociedad and the team kind of looks like this a little bit of rotation because well why not we have Des Delect uh, Garcia Weindel on the left in front of Testegen I don't know about that one but uh, Tonali de Young, Chicao, Messi, Sancho and then Mbappe up front pretty straightforward I guess just doing a little bit of rotation here and there and uh, Trent is kind of knackered a little bit so may as well get uh, give Des a bit of playing time right Sociedad time, uh, if you can remember Sociedad, I mean, maybe you've had this yourself, but uh, as we just kick off with a great chance immediately, oh, wow, that was close. Uh, Sociedad are like a strange team, right? They're always strong. Um, I think I even struggled a little bit versus them in the first two seasons, but I feel like our team is so good right now that we're just going to breeze through it. I mean, I probably jinxed it now, right? Um, but we shall see. Definitely expecting a win here. Junkao on the right, finally getting a bit of a start, that was strange from the goalkeeper, De Jong to Sancho, is he going to shoot? Someone shoot, Dest! I mean, from the most unlikely sources, close one! Whoa! Okay, well then, I suppose I did jinx it. I wasn't even going to talk there, nothing was happening, but uh, apparently something happened. Yikes. Right, well, what the heck are we supposed to do now? It's only 20 minutes in and we're man down. I think I'm going to do something a bit bold here. I'm going to put Mr. Arajo on instead of Dest. And then I'm going to just simply play three at the back. Uh, ball playing defender, defend. <clears throat> and then hope we still have enough quality to just win the game. Because they're playing kind of counter-attacky. Finally a bloody highlight? I was just sitting here after doing this up and nothing has happened. The other side, oh. Maybe this was the silly move. Let's see what happens. Sandri, who's Diggy Laundry's cousin, apparently. Oh, I just made up. A oh my god. That was tense. If you're gonna concede, don't concede silly goes like that. Tis Degen, I'm looking at you. Right, I mean, we're a man down and still no, no. I'm going to say we're a man down here. Uh, right, well, man down. It's not looking super, but it's not too bad. I'm going to say we're man down here, but go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. Because I still think we can win this match. Um, I am debating doing a bit of a switcheroo. Yeah, I'm going to do this switcheroo. I'm going to have to go back to what I usually do if I go a man down. That's also why I brought Arajo on. 
because he can play as a right wing, uh, right back, right wing right back. Wait, I just what? Sancho's just injured. This is literally just happened. I guess so. I mean, I'm gonna have to get him off. Well, I'm gonna take him off for Tadebo. Put Messi on up there for now, and then put Tadebo here. Even though he doesn't really like it, he's gonna have to like it. And then what do we do about this? Um, we need Messi on the right. I'm gonna put on. Gonna put on Haaland for Trincao. I know this sounds a bit silly. Mbappe's having a terrible game, but maybe we've put him out on the left. He will actually get a bit involved in the game, and then Haaland up front. And that's actually all the three subs that we can make, which is a little bit scary. But hmm. let's just hope we don't get any more silly injuries. Uh, Messi with the corner now. Oh, don't get countered on Otto Debo. Good, good job from him. Araujo to the lick. Are we gonna? Mountain attack. Messi, just shoot from there. You can do it. Mbappe now on the ball. Haaland. I mean, Holland just scores. That. Oh, no, it's upside. I mean, he's waving his bloody arms and flags and all sorts. I don't know if it was upside, though. Probably. I mean, this is a very... Yeah, gold is allowed. This is shaping up to becoming one of them. Is he upside, then? Let's see. He's not upside at all. What the heck? Are you joking? He was not upside at all. Oh my god. Uh, I wanted to encourage, but let's demand more. That always works when you're a man down. It just makes them work harder, I think. Rafa with the throw in. Don't lose it up here. Tonali. And Bappe with some sort of flying. whatever kick. And now they have a chance to break Yanisai. Oh, the guy in the middle is so open. No, Porter just takes it on. Don't shoot there. Well, don't score from there, but. off the post, and there's a goal kick. Hmm. I mean, I did kind of say that I was going to jinx it, right, by saying we should win comfortably. But Araujo with the throw in to Messi. He's on a yellow. But that's fine. Araujo is moving forward. He has a man behind him. De Jong. Tonali. Nice and easy. Cross the ball. Messi is... <laughs> I have no idea what that was, but... Wide. Mm. Oh. Now, Sociedad are coming for... Don't be like that. I mean, I think it was outside the area, right? Oh, nice little nap I had there while he was running. I mean, let's see what happens here. No penalty. I know, because it was outside the box. And then the freak is going to amount to absolutely nothing. Yeah, typical SI. Like, why am I being joked this then? Hmm. And my players are knackered now as well. Like, oh, this has not been a good game. Oh, don't be like this, SI. Come on. Okay. So see that has the ball. Are they gonna... What was that? Who was that? Literally doing nothing. Araujo! Just watching the football. That is not how you defend. Oh, at least he does a bit defending there. Porto. Castilla. Are we gonna counter-attack from here? Mbappe, come on. What? I mean, the most pointless highlight ever. And there we have it. Nil-nil. Hmm. Could have changed something. I, I mean, I could have taken off Mbappe. But I felt like... Getting him a bit involved on the left might have helped him improve, but hmm. this was quite an unlucky game. I would, I, would, I want to see this again. The offside, was it offside? Is it even the right bloody highlight? Let's see. Okay, so it's into Harlan. Where is he? I mean, that was not offside at all, was it? <sighs> So a red card, false offside goal, and injury to Sanchez, Sancho as well. Hmm. I guess I did change it. Oh, unlucky tonight, yeah, I, I can't really for, fault them. Oh well, rest the boys definitely, because they were bloody knackered. And then off to the next one. Right gang, we are back. Back for some Champions League. And this is our squad. Pretty much the strongest 11, I would say. Tostegan, Trent, Delic, Garcia, Mendes, Camavinga, De Jong, Messi, Petri, Fati, and Mbappe up front. And of course we have, which is pretty bonkers to say, Holland off the bench if needed. <clears throat> well, let's get into it. And we shall show you the group as well, because that's kind of why I wanted to show you this one. It's getting a bit intense. Well, not intense, but interesting, at least, in the Champions League. 
As you can see, because of the Stegen blunder, we and Salzburg are now both on seven points. And what? Yeah, and Napoli already played earlier today, apparently, and won their match. They're on six points, so it's a bit of a pretty important match, I would say. But we are at home, so let's at least put in a good performance. Um, I don't want to say anything because I'll just jinx it, like I did versus Sociedad, and um, yeah. Let's not, just not get a red card, because that would be that. And Fati to Mbappe, we're going to get a good start. We are indeed. Great start from Barca, and great start from Mbappe. Also, Fati, who's back, who's giving him the... I like that. Uh, Messi is actually in the build-up as well. It's nice to see. Fati takes it, and then just passes it to Mbappe, who then, calm as you like, slots it back be uh, behind the keeper. 1-0, good start, nice and easy, no weirdness, just win, thank you. Clear it from Garcia to Christensen, Do we, are we going to win this? We are, and to Fatih, just do it again, to Mbappe. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a strange ball, but Mbappe gets to it, and uh, he's going to cross it, he is indeed to De Jong, with a flying thingy-majiggy, that Satani Bohemian, which would be proud of, nice goal. 2-0, strolling, strolling. Fatih with a very strange ball, but Mbappe chases it down, and then, it, like, outside of his foot, I think he, yes, ah, maybe. And then De Jong with a Slatan Imahimovic-esque finish. Nicely done. Oh, now they're going to get a red card. Yunusovic, Yunusovic, uh, fouled Mendes, and he's already on a booking, so he's off. Well, that certainly made our lives easier uh, as we go into halftime. I mean, we're already strolling, so not much to say about that one. I'm going to say, don't get complacent. Well, don't let your performance drop. And then I'm going to say, I'm very happy. Well, still do better. Trent has it. I'm going to drive it forward. He actually gets tackled by Okafor. It's a great name. Oh my god, a Baum Baumgartlinger is going to get a red card here as well, right? He just absolutely scissored Messi. I don't mean in a sexual way. <laughs> They're playing 4-1-3. This is amazing. <laughs> Poor guys. And they're already like down. Fatty with a headed goal. That's amazing. I mean. You could just. Just whistle here ref. We don't want to embarrass them too much. Um, is it Petri with the cross? Yeah great cross from Petri. And then. Christensen missed, misjudges it, and as Ansu Fati has a clear header. I don't know how they're gonna score goals with um with that. Let's do something funky then. I mean, I'm gonna do some changes here. Let's uh push these boys front ahead. I mean, they don't have any strikers, so I may as well. Uh, who's playing not so well? Actually, Messi's not playing super well. Let's get Holland on for Messi. Swap these two around. Put Holland up front as Deep line, uh, nah, target man attack, let's do that alongside Mbappe, and then what else could we do that could be funny? What do we, can we make a libero here maybe? Ah, screw that. Um, actually, get Petri off for Colado, because why not, yeah. Just push men forward, let's get loads of goals, because <laughs> why not? Poor guys. Is it going to work? Oh, the young. Mendes has it. Oh, he gets tackled. Oh, that was a good tackle, by the way. Oh, Mendes still has it. Camaringa. The trend. I mean, trend. Oh, what a great pass. That was Barca esque, if you ever saw one. Great pass to Mbappe, who then just smashes it in the corner. Wow. I want to see this uh, great pass from Trent again. He just kind of. And then in between, yeah, behind them, and then Mbappe runs. That was beautiful. They were saying something about a change, yeah. Let's do one more change, because why not? Uh, Kamavinga's not having the best game. Let's put Moriba on and put him as an advanced playmaker. On attack as well. Why not? Just push men forward. Let's get more goals. I mean, this is getting a bit silly, isn't it? Did we... We made all three subs, right? Yeah, that's a shame. <clears throat> I mean, at this point, they're just trying to stop... Is it another red card? It definitely is, right? Two for the challenge from Kesterson, who's already injured as well. Red card, 100%. What the? Are they trying to kill us or something? Okay. 
What the heck? I mean, this is hilarious. Can't wait to see it. I want to see their formation when it pops up again. Trent to Colado. Does he want to go? Right, he's going to cross it to Hull. And of course, he wants the goal as well. Versus his old club. This is just bloody hilarious. Uh, don't need to see it again. I just want to see their formation. <laughs> They're playing 4 1 2. That's, uh, yikes. Okay, Colado at the corner. We're going to make it an embarrassment. Bilio. Is it always a Bilio? I have no idea. Don't look at their formation. This is so cute. No, Okafor. That name somehow sounds dirty, right? It sounds like it's naughty, but it isn't. Colado with a free kick. Is he going to shoot? Oh, right, right. I guess it's safe. No, 5 now. Should we go attacking? We could go very attacking. I should have done that ages ago. I completely forgot. Then focus. De Jong to open. Jum! Oh my god, actually a good save by Bil Bailov or whatever. <clears throat> well then. I think I know what this uh, episode is going to be called. It's going to be called the Red Card Bonanza or something like that. Uh, Trent just howls it wide. Yeah, he doesn't want to embarrass them too much. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Five now. Three red cards. I mean, look at the formation we're playing. That is some next level offensive stuff. So then, I mean, I can't really say anything else that I'm happy. Right, well, 5 nil. Can't complain about that, can you? And now we are in a good position. Um, 10 points. Salzburg behind us with 7 and Napoli 6. So it's still pretty open, but you fancy our chances now, right? Um, so... That being said, actually the next match, I think I'm going to play Valencia now, and then I'm going to come back and show you Napoli and Real Madrid, because that is a potential group winner game, right? And also, we kind of want to see them scoundrels from Real Madrid who, well, let's smash them. They have some interesting players now, and uh, we can take a look at that afterwards. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, then leave a like and a comment and all sorts. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Ciao!